Hey, what's up, everybody? John from Old Learning Farm here. Thanks for joining us. Today, it's Sunday, and we're taking a little Sunday drive out to our friend's house where we are gonna build for her a nice little chicken tractor. And it's only 20 degrees outside, so at least it's warm. The real plus is that it's actually not snowing, so it's been snowing like every day for the past week straight. And it's been super cold, so you know, 20 degrees. There's worse things in the world. All right, so here we are um, at our friend's place. You can see she's got an emu. Isn't that cool? Also, really nice backdrop for working today. First thing we're doing is we're gonna cut the runners and then we're gonna have uh, three basically floor joists um, that are gonna support the triangles. And so here I'll flash up a little picture of the plans so you can see what I'm talking about. And uh, just gonna start cutting some wood and figuring out what we gotta do. I've done here is set up a little jig for myself to see how tall the structure is going to be and what angles I need to cut my wood at. This 2 by 3 is 6 feet tall so that I know from the base it'll be 6 feet tall. So you can see that right here. So I made a center mark on this piece and then I made a center mark on this piece and then just lined them up. I put a screw in on either side and then I added this. So I took my carpenter square and made sure that this was all square at a 90 degree angle and then I just screwed this one in here to make sure it doesn't wiggle. So now I'm going to take the wood, I'm going to put it on either end and then just kind of angle it up and see what my angle needs to be to get to the center of that and then that'll give you my two angles and then I can just kind of go and cut them all. Okay, so now I have some helpers here. So it's not quite what I envisioned, but the angles fit too perfectly right to the edge there, and they meet too perfectly right here for me to try to uh, make adjustments. If I try to like futz with this anymore, I'm gonna screw it up. So I'm just gonna go with that. So now I'm gonna cut three, uh, two more sets of these and get going. It is cold and snowy and really bright, but it's nice to be able to be outside and work and have it not be like freezing cold. At least the sun is out. Spring come soon, please. Okay, so next, you can see I marked these here. So we're gonna have beams that go across all three to just make sure this is nice and strong and straight. Um, so then I'm gonna cut a notch in here and I'm gonna mill down these uh, 10 foot 2 by 4s here to be 3 quarters of an inch thick and then I'm going to cut a little slot in each of these 3 quarters of an inch thick and you know I went a little bit too fast I should have done that all at one time but too late so I'm going to cut a little notch in all these and then fit the bars in there So I got all my little runners in there. That just adds a little extra horizontal support and so it should wobble less. And it'll also give me more surface area to attach the uh, metal roof. So that's always good. Next I'm gonna do the floor of the coop. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this board to just draw a reference line. The top of the floor is gonna basically meet up with that right there. 
So now that I have these all in, I can just draw a line. Then I'll know where the top of my board is. And then I think I'll be able to figure something out from there um, and just figure out exactly where my cut needs to be. And then I can just replicate that twice because I'm gonna have this sit on the inside. So I'll drill some pocket holes here and have it screw right in here. So I just need a line of reference before I start doing that. Okay, so what I've done here, and this is a simple way to get an angle, because I, I know that there's a mathematical way to do this, uh, but if you've watched our channel at all, you know I suck at math. So I have my reference line here, and I have my reference line here. So I just lined this up and screwed it in. And so what I'll do is I'll take my pen and I will just draw a mark, scribe a mark on the back side of each piece. Then I can make a cut and it uh, should be, should match up perfectly. We shall see. Now I got the outside frame for my flooring in. So you can see I got these in right here and then I got another guy right here. So then I'm gonna have one floor joist down here and then we're gonna have a ramp that goes down. I'm gonna add that floor joist in, and then what? Then what, John? What are we gonna do after that? All right, so I got the other floor joist in there. So now the next step is going to be building the nesting boxes, and I'm gonna do that with um, half two by threes. So they're gonna be, I'm gonna mill down like directly in half a two by three, because remember, we wanna keep this as light as possible. So that's next. So I'm gonna start by milling down the wood. So we got the floor pretty much framed in. We got the nesting boxes pretty much framed in. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna frame out the door for this side, and then I'm gonna work on the little ramp thing for the bottom. And we're actually making really great progress. I'm pretty happy with this. some really good progress today I'm pretty psyched with how it looks um, so you can see this is gonna be the run right here so it's gonna be pretty open uh, this is gonna be where the nesting boxes are zoop, zoop. and then we got a little door into the coop right here and I'll show you the ramp it goes down and then Basically, you're gonna be able to pick it up and it becomes part of the floor again. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna get it to lock, uh, but we got a latch, so I'm thinking maybe I put a stick there. It, you know, we'll figure it out. But so, for right now, it looks pretty good. It is solid. You know, you saw me, I was able to lift it up and tip the whole thing over, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's actually, it's looking really good, and I, I am almost done. You know, we're, um, we have plans tonight, and it gets dark early these days. Otherwise, I might have been able to like get 99% of this done in one day, um, which is pretty cool. Because all, all I would have to do from here, I got the front door to make, I have to wire it, and then it's just putting up the, the sheet metal and cutting it to size, but I feel, I feel really good about where we're at so far. So, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. We put out videos on Mondays and Fridays. We go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, so make sure you stop by next time. And thanks for watching.